So in this video, I'm going to reveal to you guys the secret to building an aesthetic physique naturally. You have to stick around for this video because I've literally never heard anyone in the fitness industry speak of this concept. And this is going to be the reason why most people will never achieve an aesthetic physique naturally. And so I'm actually going to tell you a quick little story about when I was beginning my fitness journey. And maybe this will sound familiar to you. I was under the impression you know, through a lot of fitness influencers, through a lot of bodybuilders and all this bullshit advice in the fitness industry that, okay, I want an aesthetic physique because I was totally into really focusing on the aesthetics. I didn't give a fuck about anything else. Just wanted to build up a nice little upper body. So I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on partitioning muscle to the chest, the shoulders, the traps, the biceps, because that's what a lot of people say. They're like, you know, if you want to build an aesthetic physique, you know, you can't gain muscle everywhere. You have to focus on partitioning it to certain areas. You have to specialize in certain areas. And this kills everybody's fucking gains along with the obsession with being shredded. And so here's the problem. A lot of guys focus on the detail before they build the substance. This is the biggest fucking problem, man. What this comes down to is that most people will neglect building the big muscular structures of their body. They're going to neglect their legs. Oftentimes they're not going to be squatting. They're not going to be deadlifting. They're not going to be doing rows. They're not going to be building up the big muscular structures of your body. The key is, and this is what a lot of people don't understand and it sounds like like woo woo bullshit but the gains that you make on the big muscular structures of your body are going to act as the vehicle the engine for the gains you're going to make in the smaller areas think about it you walk into a gym you see a natural lifter squatting 400 pounds for reps or double his body weight for five reps and he has a stacked pair of legs got a monstrous back do you think he has a tiny little frail pair of arms do you think he has a tiny chest small shoulders it's not going to happen because the key is is that you need to get your body growing as one whole functioning unit and so i was actually training the best upper body exercises when I was beginning but I never got the aesthetics I wanted I never got the physique development I desired I wasn't squatting I wasn't deadlifting I fucked off on legs but I was training the best upper body exercises I was doing you know I was hitting barbell curls I was doing overhead pressing benching weighted chin-ups even some rows too but it wasn't until I started squatting and deadlifting hard and really focusing on building my legs and my back up that everything else exploded because as I said the gains you make in the big muscular structures of your body will act as the vehicle the engine for the gains you'll make on the smaller areas of your body so a lot of guys treat their bodies like fucking Legos. They're like, okay, I need a partition muscle to the biceps, the chest, the shoulders, then I'm going to have the aesthetics I want. And it doesn't work like that. You have to focus on building the substance. And so this also comes back to the obsession with being shredded. And it's that, you know, if you want to add two inches to your arms, you better bank on having to, to add 30 to 40 pounds throughout your entire body in weight, like weight added to the fucking scale. And this is like boring advice that no one wants to hear. And no one wants to hear that, hey man, like you're not going to get that aesthetic look you want right away. You're going to have to delay the cut. You're going to have to get big and jacked all around because guess what guys a perfectly well proportioned bag of bones and fucking skin doesn't look impressive you have to build up the substance of your physique you have to get big and jacked and strong you have to get powerful throughout all of the key basic compound exercises you have to get your body growing as one whole functioning unit which means that you're going to prioritize your squats your deadlifts your rows you know what's funny most people don't know this but two-thirds of your body's musculature is literally your back and your legs only one third of your body's total musculature is like your chest your biceps your shoulders your abs and a lot of guys are arranging their training arranging their exercises in a way that is literally the opposite of, of conducive for muscle and strength gains and what's the biggest deficiency what's the biggest deficiency in any gym simple muscle and strength everyone lacks it because they do what I just described they focus on the show muscles they focus on you know the chest the shoulders the biceps and I'm not saying don't train those muscle groups but understand that you cannot neglect the big muscular structures of your body you cannot neglect your squats your deadlifts you can't neglect the exercises that are going to get your body growing as a whole unit and upper body pressing is also important and this is why I always say if you want to build a great physique focus on picking a handful of big major compound exercises basic compound lifts that train the majority of your musculature if you got fucking strong as shit on your squat bench deadlift overhead press weighted chin up rows and dips you would not have a single lagging muscle group in your entire body and a lot of guys treat their body like Legos. They focus on isolating each muscle group and they don't get their body growing as one whole unit. And this was my problem. I was training the best upper body exercises, but it's not until I started really prioritizing, gaining, getting my squat up, getting my deadlift up. Because as I said, you'll never see a guy walking down the street who has a huge pair of biceps, big chest, tiny little legs, a, a, a frail back. You'll never fucking see it because the body grows as a whole. And as I said, the way to get your body growing as a whole is to focus on building the substance before focusing on the detail. Once you build up the 
substance. Once you're strong, powerful across a handful of basic compound exercise and you built up the substance of your physique, then you can focus on the symmetry and getting the proportion right. But until then, attempting to isolate and, and partition muscle is like trying to add icing on top of the cake before the cake's been baked. So you need to focus on getting strong across a handful of major compound exercises, prioritizing getting your legs up, getting your back up through you know squats, deadlifts, rows, getting your body growing as a whole and eating, focusing on eating. This was my biggest problem as well, man. I was fucking focused on being shredded. And you know, it's funny. I was having a conversation with someone the other day and they're like, your physique looks really good like this because I'm cutting right now. I'm very lean right now. And they're like, your, your physique looks better when it's like lean like this, you know, cut. You have all that definition. And I'm like, dude, you can't get to this position without delaying this position for a long period of time. If you know what I mean, you have to delay the cut, delay the gratification. You can't just get to this sort of physique right away. You have to bulk. And I don't even like the word bulk. It should be really called build. It should be a build. We should start referring to bulking as building because you're not bul bulking implies that you're getting fat as shit, but really you're just building up the physique underneath, which is never going to happen. If you're focused on saying shredded, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be in the correct anabolic environment to be able to pack on muscle and strength the most rapid rate possible. You're not going to be able to make lean gains. You're not going to be able to eat up maintenance and pack on a shit ton of muscle and like main gain in this fucking bullshit. You have to focus on bulking. You need to eat in a proper calorie surplus. People who focus on main gaining and eating like in a tiny, tiny little calorie surplus, which is really not a calorie surplus or eating at maintenance or even below, they'll gain in three years what you'll gain in six months with a proper bulk. And for those of you who are who are really focused on building a great upper body, because I am too, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, I don't care about having an aesthetic physique and I don't care about having the show muscles. Everyone wants a bigger pair of shoulders, chest, biceps. We all want to look fucking jacked in a t-shirt. It's not going to happen unless you focus on building the substance for and the muscle and strength that you gain on the big compound exercises that are going to grow your body as a whole, like there's your squats and deadlifts, the muscle and strength you develop through prioritizing those exercises is going to carry over into the weight that you're going to be able to use on your upper body exercises, which is therefore going to create a very strong and jacked upper body. So that's what a lot of people do not understand. And for those of you who are like skipping out on your squats and deadlifts because they're hard and you're not training your body as a whole and you're focused on isolating each muscle group, understand you're never, fuck, you're never Never gonna achieve the physique you want, man. You're never gonna achieve it. You need to focus on getting your body growing as a whole, eating, putting on weight. If you wanna add two inches to your arms, expect to have to gain 30 to 40 pounds throughout your entire body. And no one wants to hear this because it's shitty advice. Because it means that you're not gonna get the, the aesthetic physique you want right away. But trust me, when you're bulking, when you're building, it's 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 revealing itself underneath. You just you're not gonna see it until you cut. And the reality, guys, cutting doesn't take long. Cutting is not a long process. Balking is a long process. Putting on muscle, building is a long fucking process. It takes time when you're natural. So you have to prioritize. And this is why I came up with the 9-3 rule. You bulk for nine months of the year. And then once you've bulked nine months, you've earned a few months of cutting. And if you're new to lifting, I'd recommend bulking for the first two to three years consistently. And then you can focus on the detail and you can focus on isolation. And here's another problem. A lot of guys are so focused on isolation exercises. And sure, I'm not against isolation exercises. If you need to get a little bit extra work because your biceps are lagging, then that's okay. But understand that if you're squatting 135 pounds for five reps, no fucking shit your biceps are lagging. So a lot of guys focus on isolation exercises and small little detail work, but they haven't even actually built up a significant level of strength on the basic compound exercise that are actually gonna build the substance, build the meat on your physique. Leg extensions and bicep curls aren't going to build a big physique. Focusing on getting your physique built through detail work is not going to fucking cut it. And a lot of people focus on isolation exercises to their detriment, to the point where, you know, you're doing so many isolation exercises and attempts to build a great physique that you're actually taking away from your focus and your recuperative abilities that could be put into focusing on getting strong at the basic compound exercise that are going to grow your physique as a whole. In the gym, you'll never see a guy squatting 400 pounds, double his body weight for reps, who has a small little back, a small pair of arms, small chest, small shoulders. Never going to happen. Body grows as a whole functioning unit. So stop treating your body like a fucking set of Legos. Start getting your body growing as a whole. Start treating your compound lifts with fucking care. And this is why I'm very gung ho because this is drug free physique building. You know, this is how the guys back in the pre steroid era built their physiques. And this is a lost concept now. This is the reason why most guys will never build the physique they're after. They're focused on detail before substance. They're focused on adding the icing on top of the cake before the cake's been fucking baked. And they're focused on staying shredded. As I said, a bag of bones and skin does not look impressive. Build the substance, then focus on the leanness and the detail. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe. Make sure to pick up my free 13 point natural muscle building checklist if you haven't already. That's gonna give you all the 13 fundamental principles that you need to build your physique as a drug free lifter. And if you guys want the full system, help you pack on 16 to 18 pounds of muscle over the next nine months without living in the gym, without sacrificing your life, then you better pick up the Herculean bulking program. I've been getting insane feedback. That's basically the step by 
step-by-step -step system. That's the step-by-step -step polarity fitness system for building, for bulking, for putting on muscle and strength. So if you want to apply everything I just laid out in this video to help you pack on muscle over the next month to really build that base, build the substance before the detail, then you guys got to hop on that program. It's fucking insane. It's fantastic. So hope you guys enjoy this and we'll talk soon. Peace.